Hi everyone, it is Lindsay. I'm back with another quick deal with it video. So I wanted to share with you something I struggled with when I was a new stamper. And that was not only how to re-ink an ink pad, but when do I know that it needs to be re-inked? Because I didn't understand it. I didn't have my ink pads that long. So I wanna share with you how I um, tell that my ink pads need re-inked. So I was working with this stamp set from Joy Claire Stamps. This is the Hello Sentiments. It is well loved, you can tell. I have a video all about cleaning these stamps, these clear stamps. This is one that I've had to clean several times. I'll leave that link down in the description box below because I used the same stamp set to demonstrate that and it is another deal with it video. But Going back to re-inking. So this is the Catherine Pooler Midnight Ink Pad. These are foam ink pads. They need re-inked more often than your regular felt pads. They just do. That's the nature of the ink pads, but I love the way they stamp. So I'm gonna put this in my Misty and give it a good stamp down. But you can see that it is not true black anymore. It is splotchy, on especially on those larger parts of the word. So I've got those splotches on the H, on the P's, it's just not filling in. So that's when I know it's time to re-ink. It doesn't have enough ink in there to completely cover that stamp and give a good impression. So I have the uh, ink pad and I have my reinker. You need to make sure that you have the correct reinker for your ink pad. Don't try and do a different color or a different formula or anything like that. It's not going to work. These are specifically created for the ink pads that they come in. So I'm going to go ahead and take the cap off, take the lid off my ink pad, and squirt a little bit of ink on there. You can see this foam pad is just kind of sucking it up. Um, it is a thirsty ink pad, I guess you could say, and the ink is just going to absorb right in. That you is definitely a good indicator that this needs some re-inking. So I like to use an old gift card to kind of smush in that ink once I get it on there. And with that gift card, not only can I smush in the ink pad, but I can kind of feel how wet it is too. You can kind of feel the squish to it. Now this, I still didn't feel like had enough ink to it. So I came in with another layer of ink. And again, I'll use that same gift card and just go right through that ink pad, making sure that the ink is distributed. Now I can go ahead and retest this again. The first inking of your stamp is not going to be the best. You want to let it sit for a little bit. I didn't let this sit. So this one's going to be a little splotchy. But as you work in that ink and as you kind of let it settle into the ink pad, it's going to get much better. Now you can see here I've got my solid lines now on those H's and P's. And here I just wanted to show you too, I let it sit for just a little bit longer, let that ink kind of absorb into the ink pad and settle down and distribute evenly. So here's my second stamping. So, so, so much better. Got those nice crisp lines again. I've got those solid images and it is a nice true black color. I'm not gonna have to do any twice, three times stamping. There's a closer look at them compared side by side. And that is how I tell that my ink pads need re-inking. So I thought maybe that would help some of you, whether you're a new stamper or an old stamper. Sometimes it can get a little bit confusing and we pay a lot of money for our ink pads. We don't want to ruin them. So that is how I know that my ink pads need re-inking and also how I re-ink them. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out all my other Deal With It videos for crafting problems that you may come across. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Happy crafting.